is Michaela's Ancient Egypt and Simple Machines Lab book. And because they're so big, I thought I would simply do a video. Um, this is her story about how you make mummies. Um, this is a little bit about art. She is working on a piece of art, trying to get it to where she likes it um, before she enters it. Here she put in her timeline about Ancient Egypt and some fast facts about Ancient Egypt go right here. Over here is the Pyramid of Power. This talks about the government and how people were ranked in Ancient Egypt and who was the least important and what they did all the way up to the Pharaoh. This here is Michaela's Along the Nile. Um, she drew the Nile River and put in things that happened along the Nile um, as well as a little bit of information about life on the river. This is one of her favorite pieces, Where's My Mummy? Um, they enjoyed learning about mummies and here it shows the different layers. The sarcophagus that was all decorated, the death mask with the wrapped body, and then here is the linens that were wrapped around the mummy. Um, over here, Pyramid Power talks a little bit about how mummies, or how pyramids were made, and then there's some information on the ancient Egyptian religion. Um, this page is a vocabulary page from when we read Magic Treehouse Mummies Before Morning, um, and then True and False, and some comprehension questions. <coughs> then we learned about the Great Pyramid at Giza, and how the tombs were set up with passageways and things that were unfinished to hopefully distract and get people lost if they were tomb robbers. These are the different chambers in the tomb and some of the things that were put inside. Now this two page spread, I'm not going to show you all of these, but it talks about things that when you lived in ancient Egypt, what could you do for fun? Would you go to school? Where would you live? Would you have any pets? What would happen if you got sick? This is the hieroglyphic alphabet, and Michaela used the hieroglyphs to decode some words. Uh, then, there's a page. This is her math pyramid game. She spent all month doing math problems that were related to ancient Egypt and pyramids. Hello, Daniel. You like this too, don't you? And then she had to figure all the answers and then put them in the right order in the pyramid. This is her gallery of rulers. Um, this was a quick run through Egypt's history of the ruling pharaohs, Menes, and then Ramses II, Tutankhamun, the boy king, and her favorite, Cleopatra. Um, and then we move on to her simple machine flat book. This one covers the characteristics of simple machines, which she wrote down inside, all the different characteristics. She also found the differences between simple and complex machines. Over here she talks about why people use simple machines, uh, work, the formula, the mathematical formula for work is force times distance, what work is in physics, and what machines help people to do um, with that work. This two-page spread is all the basic simple machines, from inclined planes to pulleys, single pulleys and double pulleys. She compared and contrasted those. This talks about mechanical advantage and how machines help us, what mechanical advantage is. Under here she wrote about some examples of wheels and axles, the parts of a lever from the force or effort you apply, the fulcrum and the load, and then here she put information about wedges and screws in this little booklet with a diagram of some different kinds of screws. This is the last page, believe it or not. Here are definitions of all the different simple machines and she had to read them and remember which one was right. This is where she matched the simple machine type with their name. Over here are real life examples of simple machines and she matched them up. So she did a lot of work this month and had a lot of fun.